Paradise Now is a documentary whose time has come again. Filmed at an apogee year of contestation against the US-led war in Vietnam, it returns to us during the fifth, now the sixth year, of yet another catastrophe, the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. The film is at once a record of a pivotal intervention by the living theater into the cultural space opened up during those years as a call to attention now. Then, mass protest batters the dikes of authority and power, gaining force and focus as it does so. Now, a general somnambulism pervades, exceptional only for its persuasiveness. That the historical conditions have altered from 1968 to 2008 is not in question. More to the point, why is Paradise Now still so provocative? Why, in watching this film, does the original wager resonate as if it were perfectly current? Not an echo of a former time that we relate to historically, but a proposition that we respond to, if only to feel once more the imminence of this blood that drips from our national conscience. Does the allure of the nonviolent anarchist revolution still pull back the curtain to the imperial charade that infects us, whether we make our paycheck by it or not? Have we need of the kind of theatrical hysteria that Paradise Now made its own? Or do these moments more simply compel for the questions they raise, beginning with, how do you stop the war? Are our intimate struggles so distinctive that we cannot bridge the divide between who I am and what we have become? Have the genocidal swamps that surround our best intentions tipped forever into a virtuality that sustains passivity toward them with all too much commentary, but devoid of the kind of refusal that the living theater made its own. Despite our times and their great digital pantheons, what laws, what religions, what mores have changed in any fundamental way since 1968? Has the marketing of freedom so occluded our critical capacities that we can do without this trembling, this shudder that traverses the body of an actor and by contagion an audience? I do not think so. Paradise Now, after four decades, holds up to us a mirror that all our superciliousness cannot obscure. For in it, we see ourselves, the choices available to us, those we have thrown away against our better judgment, those we have kept as much out of humility as out of fear, and the difficult facts of our situation circa 2008, in which complacency reigns and complicity to a murderous regime is just one deal away. Paradise now offers no resolution here, no aesthetic diversion, and certainly no satisfaction with the way things were and are. It is a theater work that challenges our assumptions, even to the minutia of why we have come back to it. Does it hold in its heart the abundance we thirst for and that beauty all too often masks? Is it merely an extended form of provocation against the crushing machination of power? Are there techniques still to be plundered in its staging and execution? I could answer these questions for myself, but certainly not for you. And that too is the vivacity of paradise now. There is no hook to hang on, no easy way out, no planned vacation from the daily grind, no fantasy of resolution, no accommodation to the moral constraints that we live with each and every day. There is catharsis with all its emotional violence. And when it ends, as it does each time, 
the mind emptied, the body drained. There is hope for a cathexis, utopian though it may be, which eludes us. It is called revolution, nonviolent, anarchist, continuous. For Julian Beck, Judith Molina, and the cast of Paradise Now, it is something they do not evade.